Nice to see you, Bats. It's been too long. Two-Face, what have you done with the mayor? Oh, he's around. Mm, a giant coin? Isn't that a little obvious? Turn yourself in, Harvey, before anyone gets hurt. The doctors at Arkham can still help you. Hmm. Tempting. What say we flip them for it? Heads? I give myself up. Tails? Well, let's hope you've got a giant spatula in that belt of yours. Is he always this deranged? You don't know the half of it. Oh, and to keep you two busy, I've rigged a little challenge down there. Every time I flip my coin, one of those two cages will open, and you have to deal with whatever comes out. Will it be good or bad? The lady or the tiger? He's got tigers now? It's an expression, Robin. Get ready. Ready. Heads or tails, dynamic duo. You'd better save your mare before his luck leaves him flat. What's it gonna be, Batman? Get him, boys! Heads. Try that again. Get him, boys! What's it gonna be, Batman? Tails! Watch the good side. Tails! Heads! Let's flip again, boys. Looks like the odds were in our favor this time, eh, Batman? The odds never favor a life of crime, Robin. Eventually, the big house always wins. <laughs> Thank you, Batman, for saving my life. Ahem? <clears throat> Not a problem, Mayor. Now that Two-Face has been apprehended, we can get him back to Arkham for rehabilitation. Behind the scars, I know Harvey still has the potential for good. Arkham can't hold me, Dark Knight. Eventually, I'll get out. And when you do, Harvey, I'll be waiting. Yes, my furry feline friends, your day has finally come. Soon the whole city will be your milk bowl. The only thing you'll be lapping up is a hot bowl of justice, Catman. Huh. What do you know? It was him. The dynamic duo! I thought I dealt with you back at the museum. <laughs> you must have as many lives as these cats. What's your game, Catman? Oh, I'm purely in it for the kitties. They've been enslaved by humanity far too long, forced to sleep on couches and squat in litter boxes instead of running free. It's time they take their city back. Of course, if the resulting chaos allows me to loot the city for a few million dollars, even better. Big surprise. It always comes down to money with you. It does make the world go round, Batman. But I'm afraid this is the last stop for you and your chirpy companion. Is that supposed to be a Robin joke? It's time for a feeding, my curious companions. Sharpen those teeth. We're dining on heroes tonight. First a robin, now a house cat. <laughs> Make up your mind, boy. What, what are 
are you doing? B bad kitty! Bad! Down! Get off me! Time to retreat to higher ground! Feed, my furry friends! Tonight we feast on bats and birds! You kitty, kitty, kitty! Gotcha! Welcome to our world, Batman! I, I told you, get off me! Attack my gargantuan gato! from behind! Oh, don't try that again! Everything. See, Robin, maybe next time you won't be so quick to judge. I guess I was wrong, but how did you know Catman was behind everything and not Catwoman? It was obvious. If you looked at how. Thanks, boys. I wish I could stick around, but this kitty's got a scat. Obvious, huh? Such incredible power! With one shiny rock, we were able to bring an entire city to its knees! Or should I say, its hind legs? Hmm, say whatever you want, Catman. Just say it a little quieter. I'm getting sick of the theatrics. Oh, what a wonderful pair you and I make. With this diamond, we can take over the world together. From Gotham City to Kathmandu. And I do. <laughs> King and Queen. Lion and Lioness. Keep your tail down, Catboy. This was a one-time team-up. Oh, don't fight it, Catwoman. You couldn't dream up a more perfect specimen of man than the one and only Catman! Oh, I can think of one. But he's gone now. Batman! Always Batman! And Robin! Go on, Catman. It's time to protect your queen. Nighty night, Batman. I'll see you in your dreams. Traps everywhere. Where's a girl safe anymore? I'll protect you, Catwoman! No fair. How did you do that? Stay away from her! Enough! I need another perch. Stall them, Catman. Stay away from her! Nighty night, Batman. I'll see you in your dreams. Where did that come from? I feel woozy! Feel this cat's wrath! Time to flee! Care for some bombs, boys? No fair. How did you do that? Enough! 
I feel woozy! You won't be so lucky this time! Nighty night, Batman. I'll see you in your dreams. I feel woozy! Claws out, Catman. Don't let them reach me. I feel woozy! Where did that come from? Come now, Batman. You can't blame a girl for being financially ambitious. I won't have to, Catwoman. We have an entire justice system for that. All done. I guess we were both right this time, huh? No one's right when jumping to conclusions, Robin. <clears throat> I guess so. Come on. Let's get that diamond back to the museum before it causes any more trouble. We're installing them tomorrow. These new cells will be absolutely escape-proof. It does appear that you put Gotham's tax dollars to good. Sweet release. Is that Copperhead? Apparently. Why would he try to escape with us standing right here? At least it saves us the trip of dragging him back here. Ah, superheroes. Oh dear, he's gotten out again. Would you two mind? Not at all. Uh, hey, Snakey? Probably not the smartest idea breaking out right in front of us. How about you slither back into that cage of yours like a good little reptile? How about I snap your spine instead? Boy, it must be tough to keep thinking up S-words. Let's just get him back in his cell so we can leave, Beetle. Wait, one second. I want to try something. Hey, Copperhead, I heard you're a big dumb idiot. Is that true? Absolutely false. <laughs> now see, I thought he was going to say yes, because you know of the S in there at the end? Yeah, he's good. Enough silliness. It's time to skin this snake. That was still pretty silly. It's time to strike. Have some convicts. See you later, suckers. Surprise! Success! See you later, suckers. Success! Suckers! 
see ya! See you later, suckers! Success! Surprise! Have some convicts! We're running out of floors here. Any ideas? Move quickly and attack Copperhead anytime he emerges. Just don't let him crawl underneath you, or he'll pull you over the side. Release me! This day, the heroes are victorious. No prison cell can hold my slithering physique. Obviously, you haven't heard about the prison's new upgrades yet. Upgrades? Hey, Batman, after we get his costume off, can I make a pair of cowboy boots with it? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Yeah, I know, it's evidence. So, you want to go grab a burger after this? Justice never takes a break, even for fast food. Yeah, I figured you'd say something like that. Anyway, the prison's safe now. Another criminal thwarted, thanks to Batman and the blue... Hey, wait up! monkey. See, I can fly whenever I want, I just have to be ready to fly. That's the thing. Ah, much better. This is where the magic happens, I take it. Thank you for telling me about this place, Blue Beetle. Without you, I might have missed out on one of the world's technological treasures. Yeah? Well, don't get cozy, Grodd. Batman and I are here to kick you and your monkeys out on your shiny red butts. <laughs> Monkeys! Smooth, Jaime, but you're thinking of baboons. Oh, right. So I suppose you're gonna make these machines smash us now that you control them. Now why would I let the machines have all the fun? I won't crush you! feet now. Just keep running and hopefully we can find a way out of here. Your attacks are worthless. I feel nothing. He keeps getting back up! He's too powerful to defeat now. Just keep running and hopefully we can find a way out of here. Too powerful to defeat now. Just keep running and hopefully we can find a way out of here. You are nothing in the presence of Grom. Bow down! 
before your new master. I'll tear you limb from limb! He's too powerful to defeat now. Just keep running and hopefully we can find a way out of here. Did you really think that would hurt me? He keeps getting back up! He's too powerful to defeat now. Just keep running and hopefully we can find a way out of here. Too powerful to defeat now. Just keep running and hopefully we can find a way out of here. Your attacks are worthless. I feel nothing. Now! Now! I'll get you yet, Batman! Wow. He's pretty tough when he wants to be. I thought you two had fought before. Ah, uh, yeah, well, yes, in a bank, for five minutes. And that was really more of a laser battle. Not to mention he and his monkeys sort of cheated. You want to get technical about it? So Grodd got away. Well, yes, but I got the money back. Come on, let's get out of here. We've got you now, you big dumb monkey. There's nowhere to run, Grodd. Hand over the device. Batman, you've returned. Proto is happy. Protobot, stay back. What an amazing piece of technology, Batman. Mind if I take him for a spin? Not good, right? Really not good. Proto, sorry, Batman. Sorry, he must kill you. All heroes must die. Piece of junk! Bow down before your new master! Once I'm done with you two, I'll use this device to take over the world! You are nothing in the presence of Grodd! Kneel before Grant! You are nothing in the presence of Grant! Ouch! Play fair! Stop malfunctioning! Hope you learned a lesson about bragging, Blue Beetle. Believe me, I did. Next supervillain I fight, I'm keeping my mouth shut. But what about Grodd? He knows about this island now. He'll try this again. What's going on? Where am I? How did I get here? Well, that's convenient. Come on, let's take this monkey back to his cage in Blackgate. It's nearly midnight. Time to wind back the clock on Gotham's famous Dark Knight. What's this one's name again? Clock King. Does he always make puns about time? 
<laughs> like clockwork. Excuse me! I am talking here! Sorry, Clock King. We didn't mean to tick you off. Or grind your gears. <laughs> yes. Well, I... Hey! This is no time for the funny stuff! You should have seen the villains we had back when I was starting out. Now those were some classy foes. I'll bet. I have planted explosives all over the... You ever hear of the Metal Menace? Of course. Fifty-foot-tall robots with metal clamps for hands. They came from outer space, you know. Really? I can't believe they're not listening to me again. Explosives! All over Big Ben! And they will go off at the stroke of midnight. Unless you... What about Brainwave? Oh, boy. I haven't thought about him in ages. His head must have been about three feet tall. I always got him and Dr. Savannah confused. You're not the only one, kid. Enough silliness! It is now time to die, heroes. You can catch up in the afterlife. I'll feed us in. Ready, Hawkman? I've been ready for 40 years, Batman. Let's go. Tick tock, tick tock. There isn't much time left until Big Ben is a pile of rocks. Make it through my clockwork maze. Don't do that. Beware of falling gears, heroes. Let's see how you like this face. The big hand reaches death. Stop doing that! I think you'll like this one. One more. Time to wind back your clocks. Has my time really run out? That was quite a workout. It's great to see you in action, Hawkman. You've been my hero ever since I was a kid, but this is the first time I've had the opportunity to team up with you, one-on-one. -on -one. Happy to help, kid. I'm just glad I was here in the area. And you're doing a real good job out there in Gotham City. Well, thanks. Come on. Let's get this hunk of junk back to the watch repair shop and call it a night. A feeling this is where you were dragging us. Just like old times, eh, Dark Knight? Craddock! Astaroth, it's been too long. You are not welcome here. Ah, but when you see the gift I've brought you, you may change your tune. Gift? I present to you, O oh great Astaroth. In his centurial appearance, that loathsome, manipulative, do-gooding creature of the night known as the Batman. 
that man? Oh yes, you know his name. He who made a fool of you. He who cost me my life. I deliver him to you, Astaroth, for the most meager of things. What are your terms? I desire but one thing. That which Batman took from me a hundred years ago. Give me back my life, Demon Astaroth, and the Batman is yours. Shouldn't I ever say in this? It is done. I accept your offer, Craddock. I will burn the bat creature to ashes, and when he is gone, you shall have your life restored. Excuse me? Fellow with the horns? Who is this impudent bird? I offer him as well, my Dark Lord. Do with him as you like. It seems to me that this is hardly a fair fight, seeing how you've got a good 50 feet on us. How about fighting someone your own size? <laughs> Well, that didn't work. I will enjoy this. It has been centuries since I've had a good fight. Soon you will be nothing but ash in the air. Burn this realm to pieces! And you with it. I will consume you! My breath burns hot! I burn! I will consume you! Feel my embers! Taste my fire! It's time to smother both of you. Feel my embers! Stand still so that I may annihilate you! I will burn this realm to pieces! And you with it. Taste my fire! Mortals! Craddock! Our deal is broken! You will never have your life back! Never! You've ruined everything, Batman! First you cost me my life, and now you've ruined my death! I hope I can take some small pleasure in burying you two alive! Gentlemen Ghost, your plan is foiled. Turn yourself in so we can call it a night. It's fitting that it ends here, don't you think? I won't be coming quietly, Batman. You're a dangerous threat to every villain out there. And I'm going to end your life before you cost anyone else theirs. In case you didn't notice, Ghosty, there are two of us and only one of you. Oh, Hawkman, your eyes must be going. Surely you can see that I'm surrounded by friends here. Let's fight, boys! You cannot evade death, heroes. Life is fleeting. I will not warn you again! Welcome to the other side, hero. Feeling a bit trapped, heroes? Stop!
stop this! Have you no respect for the dead? Let's try that again. Feel the true energy of the dead. Look out below! Burn for eternity! Look out below! I will not warn you again! I will not warn you again! Let's try that again! Look out below! <laughs> you can't strike a ghost! Look out below! <laughs> you can't strike a ghost! Let's try that again. Look out below! Feeling a bit trapped, heroes? <laughs> you can't strike a ghost! Burn for eternity! Feeling a bit trapped, heroes. Let's try that again. Try to hit a moving target. Burn for eternity! I will not warn you again! Try to hit a moving target. Burn for eternity! I will not warn you again! Try to hit a moving target. <laughs> you can't strike a ghost! I will not warn you again! Try to hit a moving target. I will not warn you again! This is the second time you've stolen my mortality from me, Batman. Your own law-breaking is what cost you your life, gentlemen Ghost. All I wanted was another chance. Being a hero isn't just about strength, Batman. It's about strength of character, and showing respect, even for your enemies. Come on, let's get you back to Blackgate. <sighs> The jig is up, Cold. You and your cohorts have nowhere left to run. The rogues have no beef with you, Batman. We're only taking back what society owes us. By my count, it's you three that owe society. Ten to twenty years each in Iron Heights Penitentiary. Want me to torch him? Not yet, Heatwave. The rogues don't need Batman's death on our hands. We'd get every nut job in the cape hunting us down. I saw action. What'd I miss? It had to be Gardner. Hey, it's that other Green Lantern. What's that supposed to mean, Flamehead? It means you're a backup hero who should stick to his own jurisdiction. Jurisdiction? Buddy, this whole galaxy is my jurisdiction. Eh, remind me who these guys are again. Captain Cold, Heatwave, and the Weather Wizard. Longtime enemies of the Flash and the last three villains you'd ever want to meet on a frozen mountaintop. Weather Wizard, our discussion here is over. If you wouldn't mind brewing up a storm. You read my mind, Cold. The weather forecast? Windy, with a chance of death. Fear the elements. How dare you, Pain. Save me, friends! Heatwave, melt these heroes. Let's heat things up. Hot 
enough for ya. Feel my flames! Hot enough for ya. Ouch! That hurt, ya punk! Feel my flames! I'll burn you into ash! Hot enough for ya. Stop that! Ouch! That hurt, ya punk! Stop that! In brightest day, in blackest night. Feel my flames! In brightest day, in blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my- Hot enough for ya! Burn! Burn! Feel my flames! Hot enough for ya! Ouch! That hurt, ya punk! They're all yours, Cold. Prepare to die a very cold death. That was cold. The rogues stick together. Sure thing, Cold. You got it, Cold! Nobody beats all three of us! Feel my winds! Blast them! Enough! Heroes! This should slow you down! In brightest day, in blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's mind Fear the elements! Bad weather to be stuck on a mountain pain! Stop it! I've lost my wind! Always great to help, Bats. Give me a call next time you're in trouble. I wasn't in trouble, and you nearly got us killed. Was that? What kind of idiot runs into a battle with three villains he hasn't even researched? Research? Come on. One guy's dressed like an Eskimo, the other looks like a fireman. Doesn't take a genius to know what they're gonna hit us with. There were three of them. Oh, sorry. You know what? I take it back. I'm done saving your butt. I got enough people to save. People that like me. Why do I keep getting teamed up with Guy Gardner? I don't see anything. What are we looking for? Starro, that huge purple starfish with the angry eye. Sorry, guess I didn't get a good look. Picture these starfish we've been collecting, only a thousand times larger. Gotcha. You sure this is where the trail led? There are no more signs of Starro's offspring. It stands to reason he'd be nearby. You're probably not too happy about us rounding up all his little buddies, either. Judging by his expression, I'd say you were right on the money, guy. All right, seafood platter. It's go time.
I'm never eating seafood again. Let's get Storo back to his science cell. This is one fish that's too big for my ring, Batman. HQ sending a few lanterns our way to help bring him back. Good. In the meantime, let's... Hold on, Bats. I'm getting a transmission. Say again? What? No. It can't be. What is it? I know where Mongol is. And it ain't good. Come on. Oh, nice of you to drop by, Batman. And I see you brought your bumbling sidekick as well. Care for a rematch, guy? Or did you just come to watch as I tear apart everything you hold dear? Come on, guy. Now's your moment. You know I can't control myself, Batman. One more insult from Mongol, and I'll be body slamming both of us into Mogo's battery. Controlling your anger isn't about refusing to fight, guy. It's about thinking before you act and knowing when to attack. What an inspiring pep talk. Now, let's see if your monkey's learned any new tricks. The only monkey I see here, Mongol, is yellow. And I'm about to prove just how yellow you are. <laughs> Do your best, Earthman. You think you're clever? You're not. running away. Night. You can't escape my strength! Get back here! Be a man, guy! Stop running away! Let those who respect the ring. You can't escape my strength. In brightest day, in blackest night. Be a man, guy! Stop running away! Get back here! I'll rip you to pieces! Stop doing that! Stop avoiding me!
ready to get flattened. Stand still! Stop avoiding me! Stand still! Stop avoiding me! Stand still! Stop avoiding me! Way to keep your cool, guy. That's nothing. I just let Sunshine here do all the fighting. The poor kid really tuckered himself out. Kid! Mm, baby, want a bottle? A bottle? Gardner, I am not some child! They're so cute at this age, ain't they? Come on, let's get this bumblebee back to the science cells. A joke? From the world's greatest detective? Oh man, the boys back on Oa are never gonna believe this one! Not so chatty anymore, eh, Lemonhead? I'm impressed, Guy. You finally learned that a hero's greatest weapon is his mind. Yeah, well, this worked pretty well, too. <laughs>